Okay, let's go ahead and start on these lesson 15 practice problems. We've got for number one, it says the diameter of a bike wheel is 27 inches. If the wheel makes 15 complete rotations, how far does the bike travel? All right, so the diameter of the wheel. So it's going to be important for us to find the, um, the circumference of this wheel. All right, now this is, I have to warn everybody whenever I draw something, it's not the scale. But the diameter of the bike wheel, obviously it's a wheel, so it's a circle. And the diameter of it is 27 inches. All right, that's all the way through the center of that circle, you know. And uh, that's 27. So the circumference of that is going to be, well, circumference is, you know, circumference equals pi times diameter, right? So I'm just going to keep this in terms of pi. Why not? So I'm going to do 27 pi. 27 pi there. So there's the circumference of that one. 27 pi inches. Okay. And then it makes 15 complete rotations. So that means that it's 27 pi times 15. So you're going to multiply that by 15. And you should get like what, 405? I'm trying to do that in my head. Let me see. 27 times 15. 405, I guessed right. All right, so 405. So 405 right there. Pi, though, that's not uh, the total inches. That's 405 pi inches, okay? So if, if you're keeping it in terms of pi, your teacher or textbook or whatever the thing is telling you to do, if it's asking you to keep in terms of pi, that's... That's a great answer, right? That's as, as far as we need to go. All right. There we go. I wanted to make that clear. All right. But if we want to be a little bit more like, okay, how many inches is that? Um, 405 pi is not going to be like, you know, that's not going to be like, it's not going to tell you the whole story here. So let's go ahead and just do 405 times the two number, you know, the two digit estimate for pi. So 3.14 times 405 is 1,271 and 7 tenths inches. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so uh, depending on what you're doing, 1,000. I mean, even if you used your pi button, perhaps, if you used the, the pi function on your calculator, you might have got something a little bit different, but it's probably going to be pretty close to that 1,271 figure. So whatever way you do it, it's great. Uh, number two, the wheels on Kieran's bike are 64 inches in circumference. How many times do the wheels rotate if Kieran rides 300 yards? All right, now the thing that I that kind of pops out at me right away here that I see is that um, for problem number two, it gives us two different units, okay? In the first part of the problem, it, where it describes his bike, it gives us inches, 64 inches. That's the circumference. All the way once around his wheel is 64 inches, all right? Um, then it describes how far Kieran rides, and so it says that Kieran rides 300 yards. All right, so we have inches and we have yards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert yards to inches. I think that might be easier, although we're going to get a big number for the number of inches, but that's okay. We're going to use our calculator. And you've got, so let's do this. So um, you know what? It's going to help if, if I kind of break this down. So. Um, you should all know this. At, right, one foot equals 12 inches. You probably should know this. If you live in America, you notice this. All right, and we know that three feet equals one yard. Three feet equals one yard. And so one yard equals 36 inches. Now, I got that. I got that by just doing, you know, three times 12 if you're wondering where that number came from. Three feet, 12 inches, three times 12 
is 36. All right, then last thing I want to do is uh, figure out how many inches are in 300 yards. So we're going to do 300 times 36. So do 300 times 36, and you get 10,800 inches. All right, so that's another way to describe how far Kieran rode his bike, okay? And uh, it already says that Kieran's bike has a circumference of 64. So now it's a pretty simple division step here. Divide by um, the circumference of the wheel, which is 64. Divide that, so I'm going to divide by 64. I don't think that goes into it evenly. No, it doesn't. So here, let's, let's kind of talk about the answers here. We got I got on my calculator, I got 168.75. All right, so that's kind of an exact answer. You know, if we want to know exactly how many times it rotated, that tire went around 168 times and then three-fourths of a time. That's good, you know. Um, if it's asking how many complete rotations, you know, uh, we might just need to truncate it and just say it's 168, you know. If it said around how many, you know, how many, uh, what should we call it, how many rotations, then we might just be able to just round it up to 169. We can say it went around about 169 times. Okay, not exactly, but if if you're using the word approximately, you know you can get away with that. That's close, right? So all those answers, right there, are I would say would be acceptable. This problem doesn't necessarily say. I mean, it doesn't really tell you what kind of answer it wants you to put. I'm not looking in the answer guide, so I'm not sure what it said. Okay, for number three, the numbers are measurements of radius, diameter, and circumference of circles A and B. Circle A is smaller than circle B. Which number belongs to which quantity? All right, so, um, all right. I think, you know what, this, is, this seems pretty obvious, doesn't it? Um, I would bet that not, this is not really a betting type situation, but I, you know, I noticed that 2.5 is half of 5, right? So it's got to be, that, that has to be the radius and diameter right there. So, uh, and that's probably the radius and diameter of circle A. So circle A, uh, R for radius, is 2.5, 2.5. Uh, circle A is D for diameter is 5. And then C for circumference, um, is it 7.6? No, it's not that. Um, it's probably one of these numbers, right? Probably one of these numbers. Now, since it said circle A is smaller, I'm betting it's 15.7. Right? We can test that out, but I, I'm pretty sure it's 15.7. All right, does it say inches or anything? That doesn't really say. All right, so that's circle A. So circle B, I would say circle B is going to be right here. And, and this is also pretty convenient, isn't it? Like you got, these just happen to be next to each other. 7.6 and 15.2. I know that's not completely intuitive. You, you don't go, like not everyone knows off the top of their head what half of 15.2 is. But if you check that out, if you do 7.6 times 2, you get 15.2, you know, so that that's that's right there describing the radius and the diameter of circle B. So the radius is 7 and 6 tenths, and the diameter is 15 and 2 tenths. And the circumference must be 47 and 7 tenths. That was easy, okay? That seemed too easy. I'm always suspicious of problems that seem too easy. You never know. All right, next problem here, number four. Number four, we've got circle A has circumference two and two-thirds meters. That's a nice number, fraction. Everyone loves fractions, right? You guys all love those. But yeah, two and two-thirds meters. Circle B has a diameter that's one and a half times as long as circle A's diameter. Okay, so what's the circumference of B? 
All right, so circumference, if you remember from previous lessons, is proportional to diameter, right? It's, it's a proportional relationship, not like area is. You know, area is not proportional, but circumference is. Circumference is proportional, meaning like, you know, this is basically telling us the scale factor. You know, it's right here, it says it's one and a half times as long, the diameter is at least, one and a half times. So that is also going to be true about the circumference. So if we just take the circumference of circle A, which is two and two thirds, and multiply that by one and a half, you're probably gonna get the circumference of circle B. You're gonna get that, that's all you need, because it's a proportional relationship. We can kind of think of this like a scale factor, you know? So it's being scaled by that value, one and a half. So uh, now if you remember mixed numbers, mixed numbers are done by changing them to improper. So two and two thirds is, um, that's gonna be eight thirds, and then one and one half is gonna be three halves. All right, now I, I could cross cancel. Well, why not, let's cross cancel. Those threes cross cancel, right? The eight and the two cross cancel, because you can divide by uh, two, so you got four and one right there, and that's that right there. That's that's pretty easy. Another easy one, so that's four meters. That seems too easy, but that's right. Four meters for sure. Okay. Easy schmeezy lemon squeezy. We got for number five. Uh, the length of segment AE is 5. All right, well, that's given right there. All right, so uh, what is the length of segment CD? I don't know. No, we know what it is. So CD is describing, uh, from what it looks like there, CD is describing a diameter, right? That looks like a diameter because it's going through the center, you know? And so that's got to be 10, right? Because that's a, a radius is two diameters, right? All right, I should say it like this, sorry. A diameter is two radii. So that's that's five centimeters. That's five centimeters. Use your calculator, boom, bing, bing. You get, you don't need a calculator for that. That's 10, right there. So 10 centimeters. What is the length of segment AB? I don't know. Uh, AB is just right there. That's a radius. So that, that's five. All the radius are the same. As long as it's coming from the center and the endpoints on the circle, it's a radius. No matter where it is, as long as, as, long as you have one endpoint here. My pen's not working. Try that again. As long as your endpoint's right there, you know, and the other endpoint is on the circle itself. Yeah, it, it's gonna be five wherever you look. Five centimeters. So that's five centimeters right there. Got that, that's easy. All right, name a segment that has the same length as segment AB. All right, well, it's just basically saying, just name a segment that is a radius. You know, uh, let's name one that hasn't been named yet, like AG. All right, so segment AG right here. That's a radius. You know, so we can we can safely say that one works. So AG. 